Hey guys, thanks for joining me. Um, another thing that's been on my mind is the situation with, you know, the story of Moses' death and the way it's written in scripture and again another, you know, what was the... Yeah, it just seems like there was a point to it. It's all mysterious and it's all protected, you know. Let me just go to scripture and um, you'll kind of see what I'm getting at. Um, in Jude 1, uh, 9, it says, Yet Michael, one of the archangels, <coughs> when contending with the devil, he disputed about the body of Moses. Thus, does not bring against him a railing accusation, but said, The Lord rebuke thee. Now, point number one, why was the devil, what did the devil want with Satan's body? What did he want to do, or what did he think that was going to happen after? Uh, two, it must have been so important that M Michael, the archangel, came down to contend, fight with the devil, Satan, over Moses' body. And in Deuteronomy um, 34, 6, it says, um, so, the Mo so Moses, the certain of servant of the Lord, died there in the land of Moab, according to the word of the Lord. And he, the Lord, so God himself, buried him in the valley in the land of Moab over against Beth Beth Pior. But no man knoweth of the Well I just had to stop there because um, I'm reading from the KJV but that word sepulchre sepulchre <laughs> this word here, you know, I must have been reading from other um versions or something because I've never come across it before. So I just had to pause the video then and go and actually have a check on what this means. Because um, you'd think it would be no no man knoweth of his you know, grave until this day. But sepulchre, well it does mean a tomb cut into rock or built into stone and brick lay in a sepulchre. You know, so it's not like buried. Sepulchre actually means like a brick to, um, tomb, um, you know, and he buried in, in a tomb, so his body is actually in a stone tomb somewhere. So like I say, you've got Satan's trying to get rid of his body uh, for some evil reason that he wants to do. Michael's defending his body against Satan so there's no harm come to him and the Lord God himself comes down and he buries him with his own hands in a tomb of stone which obviously he's got to make and my question is if the body of Moses was so important how come no one's found it still to this day even you know even to this day you know no one's no one still ain't found it and this is my question, this is what I'm curious about. You know, uh, I don't see many people talking about it, but I want to know why is no one found it and what is so important. And this is the thing, if we're going into the last seven years now, when it, it's got to be found before the end comes. So, I mean, at what point is it going to be found? This is what I'm curious, this is what I'm, you know, I like, I like to... What's, what's going to happen? I'm a bit excited about it, to be honest with you. I'm looking at the map. Zoom in a little bit. Here's Israel. There's the Dead Sea there. Um, <clears throat> and the Sea of Galilee is, is further up. On the Mount Nebo, that's where a lot of the like tourists and that go. Um... I think I think it's where they believe that that was the mountain he went up on, 
um, when he when he died, like because he didn't come back down. Um, and this is the terrain view. So you know he's he's going to be buried like somewhere around sort of like this area. Well, if it's in a valley, then it's got to be around these mountains here somewhere. Would have thought. You know, but what exactly does this like mean for um, for people? What you know? What's the point? People might say, "Oh yeah, so what?" Even if you do find it well, for the believer, obviously they're gonna. It won't make much difference to them because they'll know the end of the age is coming, and Jesus is coming clo cl closing in, and all these prophetic events are gonna take place, and like Moses' body being found. Well, you know that'd be just you know like uh, an icing on a cake. Do you know what I mean? That, but they wouldn't wouldn't be totally surprised by it. But how would they first feel? How would they feel? The people that don't believe, the people that say the Bible's a fairy tale. What if Moses was found? He was identified. You know, uh, his lineage was tracked. Let's say for the DNA, clo uh, DNA. You know, what when they could identify? Yeah, this is the body of Moses. Hey, he might even have a plaque with his name on the tomb, who knows? <laughs> you know, but imagine an event like that, what would that do to the atheist? You know, because I think a lot of atheists, they don't believe in the Bible and they say it's fairy tale because some of the miracles that came from God in Moses' time, like, you know, the parting of the sea, you know, getting water from a rock, br bread getting rain from heaven, the plagues being unleashed on Egypt, all these things, and I think a lot of them come. A lot of atheists don't believe in the Bible because of Moses. But if they found Moses, you know, and yeah, people could say, you know, well, if they find Moses, then they know the story of Moses and the story written in the Bible or where he was buried is absolutely perfectly true. Um, you know, and they would hopefully then become believers. So one of the things I've been interested in, I know obviously this would take a, a miracle for him to be found, but one of the things that I have been watching is this ISIS thing, yeah? Because uh, here we have where Moses is buried. Like I said, I know this has taken a miracle, like, but. Along here we have the Syria, sorry, the Jordan-Israel border, and then if we move up, and if you see this place here, Al Al Qatara. Well, about a week or two weeks ago, when I was thinking about doing this video, there was a news flash that come up, and this is um, like an Israel-Syria border crossing, and there was fighting going on here. So that made me think that, you know, imagine if the ISIS crisis you know started to move along the um, Syria border and you know they started coming down the Syria border and then you know through into this part of the Jordan you know and into these valleys here or down the Jordan Valley or somewhere I was just thinking imagine fighting starts in these areas and you know Israel launches airstrikes and or they send troops in there or they do something that might like you know unveil you know someone might come across the tomb you know by mistake or something that's well that's what I'm keeping my eyes on anyway just for like a little surprise thing get all excited if you see like oh you know that they're fighting in uh, in this area here I know they've been fighting up in the Golan Heights so it's just a heads up anyway it's just something to look uh, you know keep your eye on so just like one last point is that you know I do believe that God's in control of everything and everything will happen you know in his time um, but we'll you know We'll just have to wait and see what he's got in store for us and why, but he, uh, he is in control. So, it's going to be good. Anyway, thanks for watching and God bless you all. Amen.